Frankie, we got two Canadian organics and two Canadian generics today on Box Mac. Uh -huh. I went into the Hall of Max and I plucked out anything that had French writing on it. We've themed the show. We've themed the show. So we've got two craft dinners that are organic, 81% organic and 77% organic respectively, yeah. which is not 100%, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got really distracted. You've been talking about your dishware for the last few episodes. Yeah. I didn't know there was also a clock. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got a lot of other interesting pieces. I can introduce a new piece every episode. Should I give you one more? All right. This is a garlic keeper. Its sole function is to store garlic inside, but also keep the garlic aerated, but in a dark environment where it won't sprout. And let me tell you, it works really well, actually. You know who I think would really like this? Yeah? Our frumpy female fan base. <laughs> That. Here's a four-inch Blattsgraf <laughs> flower pot. But why a clock? A clock is pretty different from dishware. They actually, it's a plate, just a regular dish plate. I'll start putting things in. But yeah, go ahead. Could I just sit down and let you do the episode? <laughs> we could try. No. You want to try that? I, I don't think it's going to work, personally. Why not? I think it's going to fall apart. You don't think I can, like, cook the max? Go ahead. Here we go. This is good. Okay, so this Why haven't we ever done this before? Can we do it again? <laughs> <laughs> this is yellow. Box. It just says macaroni and cheese dinner. Like that's yeah. literally it. Yeah, it's a, it's like the no generic idea. equivalent version of macaroni and cheese. The no name is from a Loblaws banner grocery store. It, oh, it's it literally no name. No name. <laughs> wow, sans nom. Yeah, macaroni au fromage. Could you at least cut butter? Or am I in charge of that too? Do you usually cut the butter on, on the show? <laughs> You're doing a pretty lousy job of being Frankie. <laughs> oh, uh, interesting things. Uh, let me just briefly check my phone for an interesting thing, an interesting clip. I'll cut in the clip in editing. Uh, <laughs> uh, talk about Glow. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Um, uh, yeah, like my kid. <laughs> can I just... Can I just sit down and say quite on the mark? Do I sound a little like Winnie the Pooh all the time? <laughs> yeah. Can I just <laughs> Is that sit a fact? down and I have a rumbly in my... You don't like how it's going? <laughs> I feel like the commentary is lower quality than it normally is. <laughs> and the cooking is lower quality. <laughs> lower quality. <laughs> and really, nothing is getting positively accomplished <laughs> by this arrangement. How come this one's not roiling? Look, I... That's my job, right? This is your job to do with. This whole episode's about division of labor. <laughs> <laughs> it's about understanding each other's roles. This is the box mac retreat. Yeah. Okay, now now in that meeting, you're in charge. Now you have to argue for that yeah. point of view. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, let's stop, let's reverse the roles. I want you to literally walk in John's giant shoes. <laughs> <laughs> How much butter per? Uh, oh, say, so on. Oh, say. Oh, say. <laughs> so this is not that hard. What have I given you all this credit for? Here, I got one. Hand me that wallet, would you? I want to tell you a little bit of a sad story, yeah. right? So you know my wallet. I have been using this style of wallet now since about 2001. So I thought, oh, I'll buy a bunch of these because they had them at Ocean State Job Lot. They put on clearance for a buck a piece. I bought about 18 and I've been through about six because they ended up lasting a little longer than I thought. Now I'm, I'm plagued by these wallets because I, I'm kind of ready to get out of them. The plastic that makes up these wallets is degrading by age. This one you see right here has been in service for but a week and a half. So the plastic realistically lasted about 10 years, which is honestly pretty good for a dollar plastic. I'm gonna move through the rest of my wallets at a breakneck pace. The last one I had lasted but three months. My God. I've actually changed my life a little because I've done one thing Yeah. you may think is ridiculous. Inside my wallet, I have my keys. My car starts remotely, so I don't need to actually take it out. Number two, I never lose my keys because if I've lost my wallet, I lost my keys. Yep. I have a backup wallet really? in my car that has a duplicate driver's license, a duplicate credit card. So you decided to have a disaster recovery plan for wallets? Absolutely. Uh, especially if I'm out, like there's nothing worse, like you've lost your wallet and then you get pulled over and you don't have your license. I'm just very particular about not losing my wallet. I, I can completely understand that, but yeah. what if you get mugged? Let's I try say, to keep a lot of my life digital. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to live, but you yeah. still gotta have the physical credit card, you still gotta have the physical license, right? Well, credit cards are really easy to swap out. You know, yeah, they are. The thing they don't have down to a T is the, the license process. That process is slow and non-digital. It would be really nice if we could have like a digital ID on our phones, wouldn't that be really cool? I, we must be getting there, right? Um, what? Digital ID, the thing you're yeah, talking yeah. about? Oh uh, yeah, I, I would think so. <laughs> All right, things are going well here. Yeah, yeah. I had a, like a little bit of interesting conversation. There was conversation I was planning back before I was gonna do all the labor. We were talking about all this dishware. Yeah. 
And because it's kind of old fogey, it's kind of old lady. It reminded me of when I used to visit with my grandparents. They used to have like trinkets that I would stare at the whole visit. Sure. Do you have that? Oh yeah. Like You want, you want me to get you a couple? Here we go. Oh my God, he's got more of these Rorschach things. But it's a Platzgraf potpourri holder. Here's the, the cover for it. Here's the rare Platzgraf soap dish. How much money did you spend on Platzgraf? Oh, about 200 bucks. You got Matt over there being like, I'm gonna inherit all the Platzgraf. <laughs> That's what I get for all my hard work. <laughs> I'm gonna write it into the will. Matt gets all the Platzgraf and $35. $235 value. This is a little nerdy. All right, so I apologize. I wanna kind of introduce you, Frankie, and the audience yeah. to a linguistic feature that English does not have. Oh. Okay. And it's called clusivity. The difference between the two forms of the word we. We eat macaroni and cheese. And that can mean you and I, or it can mean me and my friends, but not you. There are some languages that have different words for each of those two we's. But in English, we have to rely on emphasis. Like we eat macaroni and cheese and I have to make like a hand gesture pointing to myself. Right, they call that we you. This is what you do on the internet. This is what I do on the internet. I watch Tom Scott's videos on language <laughs> features that English doesn't have. I wanna just congratulate Frankie on the, the valiant effort he's putting forth today. I just so, feel so lazy. I mean, I really do. They're all a third of a cup. What do you think about that? I think it's delicious. Okay, this is a half. I read a third. It's a half. Where did I read a third? What it, what the, what the, what the, Skim milk. I just read it. Wow. Oh my God. You know, Frankie, I bought these chairs with the intent of someday maybe like sitting at the table to eat. It has not happened once. <laughs> I think they were like 199 a piece. You know, I hate counter height chairs. I do too. But here you are with one. Yeah, and you've tried this one. How do you think it is? I don't like it as much as a regular chair. Neither do I. But you know what? I stupidly bought bar height chairs for my house. Did you? Yeah. Why? Why yeah. didn't we both do it? I didn't know at the time. Well, these all look pretty good. Sure. These all look fine to me. Okay, why okay. don't we start with the yellow. The first one on the end here, the kind of lightish one. Okay. I didn't salt any of them. None of them. Unless I you salted, salted the water before we decided to change rolls. Pretty bland. Yeah, very bland. I mean, it is a yellow box that says macaroni and cheese, literally no brand at all. If you salted the hell out of it, yeah, you and, and you had it next to a burger, yeah, it'd be fine. I bet my kid would like this. Oh, sure, I think she'd love Just it. Just mushy, yeah. half cheesy pasta. All right, let's try the KD white cheddar. So these twists? Yeah, twists. Pretty lousy. Yeah, pretty like cardboardy cheese flavor. Mm. Real cardboard. Sometimes the Parmesan or the white cheddar ones come with a Cardboard taste. I mean, it's about on the same level as the other one. Loser. Losers. This is KD Original Organic. Okay. Certainly not as good as the original KD that I remember. These are all been twos as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Let's try the Great Value French Canadian Extra Creamy. Yuck. Oh, yeah. It's yucky. Yeah. What does it taste like? Rotten? It's got a super ton of sourness. And this is a 2020 date, March 2020. This is a real disappointing batch. Nothing here made me go ho ho ho. No, I, I was wanting to go ho ho. You know, with all that and the guy who used to sit in the bathtub and say French phrases. Yeah, Pierre Escargot, I was gonna go there. I didn't get to it. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, we're never this gonna. This is kinda, I'll cut it in a clip. Au grass farm a volé me en mon rouge. A fat woman has stolen my hot peppers. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, don't buy any of these. If you have them in your kitchen, uh, you can donate them to a food pantry uh, or you could throw them away. We'll see you next time on Boxmark. Throw all these away. Pardon me, but this tissue has already been used. <laughs>